Let's turn our attention to the electric plug icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Here's our collection of dynamic plugins. Three of them are grayed out because they require a layer to operate, and we only have a canvas at this point. But I will show you an image that utilizes all three of those special effects. We began with the letter A, created with the text tool. A copy of that was made, and the tear effect was applied to it. This gave the illusion of a torn paper edge. A copy of that was made, and the burn effect was applied to that. And on a copy of that, the bevel world effect was applied. Even though I just opened this image after it was sitting around for several days, I can still go back and double click on any of these dynamic layers and make changes. So I can change, for example, the margin on the tear effect, the strength of that, jaggedness. I can even change the color of the edge of the paper and so on. But I'll cancel that so we will go back to the previous setting and I'll just revert to how it was before. I'm going to open another image, and both of these are available in your Working Files folder. And here we can accomplish a brightness and contrast change. Let's make it less bright and less contrast. When I click OK, this is a dynamic layer, and so I can always go back and double click on it and change my brightness and contrast to whatever I wish cancel that. At any time, I can simply delete the layer and I have eliminated the effect. Very similar to adjustment layers in Photoshop. Brightness and contrast is also available in your tonal controls in the effects menu as are posterize and equalize. The difference is they won't be dynamic if you apply them from the effects menu. So if you need to maintain the possibility of making changes to brightness and contrast, posterize, equalize, or glass distortion, use those dynamic plugins. Now I'm going to show you the Kaleidoscope dynamic layer. All you need to do with this one is specify the size of your square. Automatically, a square and a layer is created. And if you drag it around, the kaleidoscope effect will be applied to the pixels that are underneath. If you should want to commit to this particular effect, all you have to do is go to the convert to default layer, and now it is just a layer, so now I can move it around and it won't change. Delete the layer. There is another kaleidoscope option in Painter, but it's not in the dynamic plugins. It's in the mirror painting option, and here's where we can paint either on both sides of the line, or we can choose kaleidoscope option. We can then decide to have some more segments and paint in those segments. I'm just changing color and go back to my paintbrush, and here we see the possibility of doing kaleidoscope painting. So that's quite different from the kaleidoscope plugin. Now we're going to take a break, and when we come back, I will show you liquid lens and liquid metals.